Okay, this one's about putting the Schraders in uh, after evacuation because I've removed Schraders for evacuation. Uh, so then how do I get the Schraders in? Okay, if you look here, I've got the cylinder, the refrigerant cylinder, right there. It's on a scale. I always have it on a scale. This is how I always do it. I, it just saves me trouble. Uh, if there's questions later. Anyway, it's on the scale. It's set to uh, move gas out because it's upright and you can see the yellow line goes over to the gauge set. And you can see the gauge set is showing 29.9 on both sides. Now, First thing I'm going to do is this yellow hose was just hooked up. There's air in the hose. So I'm going to turn on the refrigerant. Now I put pressure on the hose. So now I'm going to go over the gate set. Where the yellow hose comes in, I'm going to bleed. That's plenty right there. Just a half second or so. And it has bled any air in the system out. So now what I'm going to be looking for is a positive pressure in the system. Uh, depending on the size of the system, uh, 5 to 10 pounds PSIG. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the low side of this. You can open both sides if you wish. It really doesn't make too much difference. Uh, you see we're still both in negative numbers. Positive numbers, two pounds or so. I'm going to put probably about ten into this thing. Well, Probably the six is okay. Uh, so I have a positive pressure in the system now. So now I have a positive pressure in the system. I can put my Schraders in. Okay, now I've got my Schrader ready to put in. I use brand new Schraders each time. Uh, I throw the old ones away uh, just simply because they're not clean. They've been rolling around the dirt or whatever the heck. Uh, I throw them away, put new ones in because it's a real cheap part and there's no reason not to. You can charge the customer for putting them in, but you can't charge him when you come back and got a leak. So uh, anyway, there's, uh, there's a Schrader. I've got a positive pressure in the system and I'm going to pull the hose off and That was probably not the fastest way. My hose back on. Now, at this point, the hose has got air in it again. Now let's look at our gauge set. Okay, we still have positive pressure in there. So, to make sure that I don't have any problem with uh, air in that refrigerant line that I just uh, bled out or that I just put the Schrader in. I'm going to open this there again maybe a little more than a half second because the pressure is really low but I still have a positive pressure in the system. Okay then I'm going to do it with the other one the same way. And again, I'm going to bleed the air out of the line, and that's replacing the Schraders. 
after evacuation. 